You know, mind you, I have 15,000 followers, 10,000 of them are black folk. They know I'm not racist. But let me get this straight. You will kill another black man for stepping on your shoes, for shoulder checking you, for shorting you $10 on a drug sale, for the utmost stupidest reasons you will kill them without an instant of doubt and no shred of moral. But this white man has got their foot all on your fucking neck and you do absolutely nothing. i seen shit out there that says, we're going to ban Black Friday. That don't do shit. That don't do shit. What you need to look at is your community around you that is filled with money. That's what you need to attack. When, when, when black lives really matter, you'll have everybody in the NBA. You'll have anybody, everybody in the NFL. They won't step on a court or step on a field until something is done for their people. But they don't give a fuck. Okay? We've even heard people like, let, let's, look, let's look at the top elite of the black community. Okay? Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, Jay-Z, Floyd Mayweather. And the list goes on how many people are billionaires and millionaires and don't do shit. Now what I mean by don't do shit is, is what do they do for the black community? And I've even heard Floyd Mayweather go on record and say, why should I help anybody out? Because when I go broke, ain't nobody going to help me. But he'll sit there and defend this dude and pay $75 to see him fight and he don't do shit for you. This motherfucker will go out and buy a $2 million watch, a $1.5 million car and don't do shit for the black community. These are the people you need to boycott, and these are the people you need to hold accountable for the shit that's going on right now. And it's the truth, and I know you don't want to hear it from an Ofe, an Edomite, a white devil, but it's the fucking truth. Akon went to Africa and gave Africans electricity. What the fuck are these other people doing like Jay-Z? What are they doing? Now, if you take Jay-Z, Tyler Perry, and Oprah Winfrey and take their money, they could own a black-owned bank. But why won't they? Because they know the white man will step on their neck. Until you people buck up to the real shit and realize until you step back on the white man's neck, you ain't never going to fucking move forward. They had the shit back in the day, back in Oklahoma, they had Black Wall Street, but the white people got rid of that shit too. You need to start holding these people accountable. Okay, every time you turn on a football game on Sunday, all you're doing is giving TV ratings and making... TV networks, millions of fucking dollars because you flicked on that TV. You bought that fucking baseball game ticket. You bought that football game ticket. You bought that basketball game ticket. What are these people that are, are doing for your community? Now, I say, I see somebody say, well, we're going to keep our black dollar and bring it back to our community. You don't own shit in your community because the Chinese, the Dominicans, and the fucking Indians own everything. So you can't even go in your own neighborhoods because there's nothing owned by black people in their own neighborhoods. So you can't make your dollar even strong. Now, Patty LaBelle did the bean pie shit, which proved right there. Now, whether it was buffoonery behind that or anything, but it still proved that the black dollar is strong. How many sales does she have? Nobody wants to eat no fucking nasty ass fucking bean pie. But the point behind it was support your own. And look what happened, how much money that brought in. And record sales in the weekend. Now just imagine, this is, what, this is what I see here. These drug dealers in these black communities, right? What do they do with their money? Do they open black-owned stores in their community? Absolutely not. They take that shit somewhere else. If you're going to do so, and, and the same thing with black women. What do they do when they go get their weaves? They go give their money right to the fucking Chinese. Why not own a salon that sells weaves? by black-owned owners. Have a grocery store, black-owned. Now, if Floyd Mayweather decided to go to a neighborhood and open up a grocery store, black-owned, in a black community, how much would it cost him? It probably cost him two of them fucking watches he's got. Or Jay-Z. Do you, do you see where I'm going with this shit? This shit where you're standing in front of police departments and blocking off highways, that don't do shit. Because they're still fucking killing you in record fucking numbers. Now, when you see, I just can't go on. I, I, I think you understand my point here. To get this shit solved, you need to start within your own community and hold your own people accountable. Because I'll tell you right now, if there was a white baby choking and a black baby choking, Oprah Winfrey would step on the black baby to save the white baby. And y'all know I'm fucking right. Y'all know I'm saying the truth. Oprah got enough money to go in 52 states and open... 52 black-owned grocery stores and still have billions of fucking dollars. Same thing with 
fucking Tyler Perry. Same thing with Jay-Z, but they do they do it? No. Because they only care about themselves. So until you hold these people accountable for their actions, shit ain't never going to change. And that's the goddamn truth. Like I said before, you will kill your own people in a heartbeat, but you will let this white man step on your goddamn neck. Now, I know, there's going to be people out there saying, the white people, we all know the honkery, they're going to say, look at this race-baiting asshole, he's going to start riots. Da, 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 da. No, 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 no. I'm telling the absolute, 100% honest truth, and people know it. So, to the people in the urban community, start opening black-owned stores. Take your drug money, because you need somewhere to wash that money. Open black-owned stores in your own community. And when you see fuckery going on in your community, put a stop to it. Y'all need to stop killing each other. That is the biggest thing. Fuck the police. They ain't never going to stop what they're doing because no one's going to do anything about it. You can sit there and pick me. You, you understand my point. This is my video that I've been trying to say. I've seen people, black people, come through slavery. Four million people slaughtered, beat, raped, killed, eaten up by dogs, hung from trees, beaten the next day, go out and pick cotton all day, overcome that shit. But you can't overcome now, in this day and age, the white man stepping on your neck. Y'all need to pull your shit together. Straight up truth. And I know y'all motherfuckers gonna hate me for this video, but you know I still love you. And it's the God's honest truth. Start holding people that have billions and millions of dollars accountable for the shit. What you do is, is you gonna stand in front of Floyd Mayweather's gym by the hundreds. Motherfucker, you gonna take some of that money and you gonna do something for our fucking community.